Hey what's up guys this is Sanip Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to remove Linux from dual boot on UEFI systems. So let's get started. So there are two ways in which Linux is installed on our UEFI systems. So first one is by creating a separate EFI partition for Linux and the second one is without creating a separate EFI partition. So I'm just going to show you both methods for removing Linux. So as you can see I have installed Linux with a separate EFI partition and a root partition. So when separate EFI partition is created during Linux installation, you cannot remove it from the disk management of Windows. So for that, you need to install a separate third party tool called mini tool partition wizard or any similar software. So just go to your browser and download the tool and install it. This tool will allow us to delete the EFI partition of the Linux system. So once you have installed the tool, you need to open the tool and as you can see the disk layout. So it is similar to disk management. You just need to identify your Linux EFI partition and then your Linux root partition. So just select them and delete them one by one. So after you have deleted those partition, you can now close the mini tool partition wizard and then you can open your Windows disk management and you can extend volume of your nearest local disk with that free space now when you turn on your computer it will automatically boot into windows without any dual boot menu now the second method is for when we did not create a separate efi partition for linux and we install the bootloader files on the windows efi partition here you can just delete your linux root partition from windows disk management after you have deleted the Linux root partition, now we need to remove the Linux bootloader files from Windows EFI partition. So for that, you just need to go into your Windows search and type CMD and run it as an administrator. Now once you are inside the CMD, type disk part. And then you need to type list disk and then you need to select your correct disk where the Linux and Windows is installed. So after you have done that, you need to select your disk and then you need to type list volume. So as you can see, there are a number of volumes, but you need to select the volume which is system. So as you can see, mine is 2. So I'm just going to type cell vol 2. And after that, you need to give assign uh, letter to your volume. So I'm going to give it Z. So type assign letter is equals to Z. Now after that you can close this part by typing exit and you need to go into the partition. So just type Z and colon. Now if you type DIR you will see the contents of that drive. As you can see there is a EFI folder. So to go into that EFI folder type CD and then space and then type EFI. And if you type dir again, you will see the content of EFI folder. Now here you will see a Linux directory as well. I am seeing the Ubuntu folder. So now you need to delete the folder. So to do that, type rmdir and then type forward slash and capital S and type the Linux directory. So that's it. Now you can just open the disk management and do the previous steps and remove the letter Z. So after that, if you restart your computer and it will open normally. So that's it for the video guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.